Right, in this video we're going to take a look at how to apply um, what we saw previously, so indexing and filtering, and how to move that on to um, to handling data frames. So if we uh, when we take a look at what we got here, we got a whole bunch of stuff that's beginning to build up, but we have this MMM data set, and we're going to play around with that. So what if I only wanted to look at, to take certain um, variables from, from this data set? Now, if I knew which ones they were, as far as ordering is concerned, um, I would just simply put down their numbers. So let's say I wanted everything apart from uh, the fourth and the fifth. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Uh, whoops, my, my mistake. Uh, it's supposed to be square brackets. If we run that, that's given us everything from um, apart from the fourth and the fifth uh, data set. In that case, it's often quicker to actually put in negative numbers for the ones we don't want. So saying, I don't want the fourth and the fifth um, columns. And that's giving the same result. Okay, now that's all well and good um, if we know the number of our of our variables, but sometimes we might not. So um, we can, however, put in the names of our variables, just uh, putting them in a vector. So we want name. Um, let's say I want random dot number, and let's say I want age. If we run that. You see, it's also reordered it. We're getting what we want. And then we can do something a bit more complicated. We can create um, an index. If we remember, we can use names. And all names does is return a vector um, of, um, of the names of the variables. And um, what we can also then do is, is test things. So we can say, all right, I want the things that are the variables that are in this vector. So I create another vector. In other words, I want age and um, sex, for example. That's just creating um, false, true, true, false, false, false. So percentage in percentage is just testing. So is name in this vector. So name is not age and it's not sex, so it's not in the vector. Age, however, is. So it's returning um, that. So I can create an index um, of my variables. So this is just going to be a set of booleans, whether or not they're in a particular index that I want. So if I want age and sex, if that was the only thing I want, um, oh, I wrote in again instead of a C. And I wrote name instead of names. So if I run that, that's just the same uh, vector as, as before, and then if I write MMM and uh, index it with the index, capital I, I just get the age and the sex. And now, very neatly, if I didn't want those variables, I'll just use dollar index, sorry, um, exclamation mark index. And exclamation mark is just negation. So if, well, let me, let's take a look at it. If we look at index above, and we run dollar index, sorry, exclamation mark index, it's just inverted um, all our Boolean variables. So if I do MMM, oops, MMM, exclamation mark index, it's giving me all the variables apart from those in that original uh, vector. Um, that's how to select variables. If we wanted to actually select particular observations, um, we can do that very easily. So we can say MMM, I want the uh, the first element, the first row, and the first column. That's given me Malcolm. We see there Malcolm was indeed the first. Um, I can take the, the second, nine, um, left that as age. But if we go back to the original data set there, Malcolm was indeed nine. So we can go and get particular elements of a data set really easy. And that's actually really, <laughs> really important because some other uh, programming languages, statistical packages, it's not actually that easy to go get something you actually want, so that's very powerful. Um, but we can also leave one of those indexes empty. So for example, we could say, right, I, I want the seventh row. Um, or similarly, I want the second column. 
All right, so just by leaving an, uh, one of those numbers empty, we get what we want. Now we can also sort the data set. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. If I if I look at let's go to JJJ for example and look at the age vector. And if I order JJJ dollar age, we just do JJJ and according to that index order JJJ dollar age. Oops, what have I done wrong there? Oh, and I say I want all my variables. So that's that's the order of the rows. And now we see that the age is indeed um, sorted. And so the first person um, in my list was the 12th. The second is the 7th. Um, and so if we go to the 12th, that's that's there. And then, um, and so on. Um, but we can also only select variables that obey a certain Boolean condition. So for example, we can say take uh, JJJ where the age is less than or equal to 18 and give me all uh, variables. And then if you look, the age is uh, just there. So that's how to um, manipulate data frames, get values out of data frames uh, that you want.